Welcome to our video about the pros and cons of a golden retriever. Please remember to like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's just start by saying, if you're not sure what dog to get, golden retrievers are a fantastic choice for almost any person. As far as dogs go you'll be hard pressed to find a better breed. However, even with all this in mind, they may not be for everybody. Benefits of owning a golden retriever. Here are some of the best things about owning a golden retriever. Though good natured. One of the best things about owning a golden retriever is how good natured they are. Though the sweetest little dogs and they really don't have a bad bone in their body. You'll be hard pressed to find an aggressive golden retriever. All they want to do is love you and your family. They're intuitive. Not only this, the more time your golden retriever spends around you, the more intuitive they'll become. They'll begin to know when something isn't right and you'll notice they'll also spend a lot more time around you. Trying to cheer you up and comfort you. If you're ever sad when a golden retriever is around, they'll be there by your side until you feel better, no matter how long it takes. They're highly trainable. Golden Retrievers are also some of the most trainable dogs around thanks to their high intelligence, eagerness to please, and their willingness to learn. Unlike some other dogs, Golden Retrievers love learning new tricks, and have a lot more patience and focus. In fact, it's often said that Golden Retrievers are one of the top 5 smartest dogs. Their intelligence is equivalent to a 2-year-old human and they can learn over 165 words. Which is amazing! They're great show dogs. Because they're highly trainable and eager to please, they also make great show dogs. If you were interested in entering a dog into agility courses, or obedience competitions then they're the perfect breed for it. Both you and your retriever are going to have tons of fun. Golden Retrievers are amazing family dogs. Golden Retrievers are extremely social and want attention and affection from all of your family. They're even patient with kids and babies. It's very rare that a golden retriever will snap, no matter how much they're getting pulled around. Just remember though, just because your golden retriever won't snap, it doesn't mean you should let children be rough with them. Not only because you'll never know how your pup is going to react, but also because it's just not going to be a nice experience for them at all. They'll also be best friends with other animals. Generally speaking, Golden Retrievers have a low prey drive, when compared to other dogs. Because of this, they're generally safe around any other pets you have, including other dogs, cats, rabbits, and even smaller animals. Just make sure you introduce them to each other first, to let them know that they're part of the pack. Once you've done this, they'll look out for the other pets you have, even if the other pets aren't sure about your Golden. They're good therapy dogs. Golden Retrievers also make fantastic therapy dogs thanks to their kind hearts and good nature. While yours may never become a therapy dog, they still have the behavior needed for it ingrained into them. If you have an older relative or someone that needs to be calmed down, they can be the most attentive companions for the job. They're extremely loyal. Golden Retrievers are also extremely loyal. They were bred to return the hunted game back to their owners, and this instinct will keep them loyal to their family even now. When you let your golden retriever off the leash, you may notice them running ahead or disappearing at times. But unless they get lost, they're always going to return to you again. They love to play. If you've got kids, or you're a big kid yourself then you're going to love having a golden retriever. They love to play with everyone. In fact, they still have a puppy mentality long after they're fully grown. This doesn't mean they're going to be naughty, it just means they'll love to play with you. While most dogs lose this behavior by about age 2, Golden Retrievers keep it until they're 3 to 4. Even after this, anytime you want to play, they'll immediately grab a toy and join in. You won't find a better friend. Give it time, and after a while, you and your Golden Retriever will become best friends. While it's easy to say this about any dog, it's especially true with Golden Retrievers. They'll follow you around, anytime you want to go to the beach or for a walk, they'll always be happy to join you. And when it's time for a rest, they'll want to rest near you as well. They're not aggressive. 
I've preached a lot about how good-natured golden retrievers are, but there really isn't a bad bone in their body. It's very rare for a golden retriever to lash out at somebody, and if they do, it's normally taken a lot of provocation for them to do so. As well as this, golden retrievers also give you a lot of warning when their patience is running out. They'll normally try to change rooms and be by themselves. They can make great watchdogs, with adequate training. While it's not in their nature to be barkers, golden retrievers do have an exceptionally loud bark. If you wanted, you could train them to be a watchdog. While they probably wouldn't ever attack a robber entering your home, they'd rather befriend them, they can definitely alert you to their presence. They can help you meet new people. Golden Retrievers are very beautiful and handsome dogs. When you're taking them for a walk, people are going to want to stop and stroke them. This can be a great way to meet fellow dog walkers and new friends. What are the problems with a Golden Retriever? However, while there are a lot of great reasons to own a Golden Retriever, there are definitely some things you need to be aware of before purchasing a Golden Retriever. If you don't weigh up the downsides, then it may be an unhappy fit for you and your pup. They need lots of exercise. One thing you'll need to know before getting a Golden Retriever is that they need exercise. They'll need about an hour a day to be happy. And ideally, this isn't just going to be a walk, but instead being let off the leash to run, or going for a swim. When you don't give your Golden Retriever enough exercise they're going to become a lot more restless. This often ends up with things being broke in the house as they'll be a lot more boisterous, or they may end up chewing things. And of course, if you're not exercising them enough, they may also end up becoming overweight as well. They're big eaters. Golden Retrievers are also big eaters. First of all, they're quite big dogs, but even with their size, they still love to eat. Given the chance, they'll just keep eating and eating. So you should be very aware of how much you need to feed them and make sure you don't overfeed them. If you do they're going to become overweight very quickly. Consider the costs of food before you decide to buy a golden retriever. They don't like to be left alone. One of the biggest cons of looking after a golden retriever is that they don't like to be left alone. If you're going to buy a golden retriever, you'll need to make sure they're not being left for more than six hours at a time. And ideally, it shouldn't even be that long. One of the best things you can do for your golden retriever is live in a house where someone is always about, or give them another dog to play with. If you do leave your golden retriever alone for too long, they may end up suffering from separation anxiety and other abandonment issues as well as engaging in destructive behaviors like chewing. When you do need to leave your golden retriever alone for extended periods of time, it's often a good idea to take them to doggy day care. They'll need a lot of space. You should also think twice about owning a golden retriever if you live in a small apartment, or you don't have access to a garden. Golden retrievers are boisterous and full of energy, so you need to make sure that your house can accommodate this. Being cooped up and cramped inside all day is not going to be good for your golden retriever. They need space to move around and play. If where you live isn't big enough, then it may be better to consider purchasing a smaller dog. They can be chewers. With the name retriever, it's not very surprising that they can often be chewers. They're so used to picking things up with their mouths, that the next step is chewing. However, if you do get a golden retriever it doesn't mean they're going to chew. When trained early enough, you can stop your golden retriever chewing. However, it's important to note that for a small portion of the time they may be chewers. And nothing is off limits to them. If they want to chew something, no matter how out of reach you put it, they'll find a way to get to it. They don't live as long as other dogs. This is definitely the worst thing about golden retrievers. Sadly, because they're larger dogs, they don't live as long as small dogs. Golden retrievers typically only live between 10 to 12 years. And saying goodbye to them is extremely painful. However, even though they may not have the longest lifespan, they will fill your life with years of joy. They can be too boisterous. If you're looking for a calm couch potato dog, then Golden Retrievers may not be the right dog for you. While they will calm down as they get older, in their younger years, they're going to be extremely energetic and playful. 
A lot of things in your house may break when you have a golden retriever, as they'll wildly swing their toys and tails around. You also need to be careful about letting your golden retriever around small children, especially when they're young. They won't mean to, but they often forget their size, and if you're not careful they may knock a small child over. They'll roll in anything and get wet. As they've been bred to retrieve ducks and other game, as you can imagine, golden retrievers absolutely love playing in water and getting wet. However, it doesn't just end here. Your golden retriever is going to want to roll in as many things as they can. Unfortunately, this includes mud, cow pat, fox poop, and anything else disgusting. So if you plan on taking them to the forest or fields, you'll need to have some doggy deodorant and a shower ready for when they get home. They shed a lot. Golden retrievers shed a lot. If you decide to own one, this is something you'll definitely need to take into consideration. While they shed all year round, during fall and spring, they'll shed their old coats, ready for new coats better suited for the temperature. During these times, you're going to notice a lot more fur coming off them and you'll have to brush them frequently. Oftentimes you'll need to brush them every day. However, if you do take them outside and brush them, you can reduce the amount of fur that stays in your house. And as a rule of thumb, you're definitely not going to want to wear black, as you'll probably end up more golden. They make terrible guard dogs. The perk of golden retrievers is how friendly and loving they are. However, if you're looking for a guard dog, this is also their biggest flaw. Golden retrievers aren't really wary of strangers, and they're ready to make friends with anyone. Of course, this outgoing nature is perfect in a lot of other roles, and it's the reason they make such good guide dogs and therapy dogs, however, it's not great for a guard dog. If you wanted a dog that's going to protect your home, then golden retrievers aren't the best choice at all. They like to move things. To put it less delicately, golden retrievers can be little thieves, especially when they're younger. Until they're about four years old, you'll probably notice all manner of things you've left lying around your house in their bed or another hiding place. So if you have a lot of valuable things lying around, you'll definitely want to puppy-proof them before they go missing. They love to dig. Golden retrievers also love to dig. If you've put a lot of work and care into your garden, then you'll need to keep a constant eye on your golden retriever to make sure they don't ruin it. If left alone even for a couple of minutes, they may have dug a big hole in your flower bed. They're prone to certain diseases. And lastly, golden retrievers are also prone to certain diseases and health conditions that can affect the quality of their life. Hip dysplasia and other joint problems are the most common, but it's not just them. Cataracts, hypothyroidism, and certain forms of cancer are also common ailments. So at the very least, make sure you've got health insurance for your retriever. Who are golden retrievers good for? If you've read all this, you should have a pretty good idea about whether a golden retriever will fit with you and your family or not. With that being said, here's what the ideal golden retriever owner should look like. People who love to be outdoors. Golden Retrievers are the perfect companion for anybody who loves to be outdoors. If you and your family enjoy hikes, going to the beach, and other activities, then a Golden Retriever will make a great fit. People with kids are a family. Another great thing about Golden Retrievers is that they love children, pets, and the rest of your family. In fact, if you're looking for a dog that's going to fit well with a young family, then Golden Retrievers are a great choice. Just make sure you're teaching your golden retriever to be less boisterous around small children. And also teaching small children to leave your dog alone when they want time to themselves. Someone with lots of time. If you've got a lot of time, you're going to be a great owner for your golden retriever. Remember, golden retrievers don't like being left alone too long, so if you always have time for them, they're going to be happy pups. Recap. Now you know all the pros and cons of owning a Golden Retriever. If you feel like you'll be a good owner to them, there really isn't a better dog to keep as a companion. And while the problems may seem big, they pale in comparison to the years of happiness and love your Golden Retriever will give you.